Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of CEO Talk. I'm your host Kalpana Singhal, and today we have a special guest joining us, Job Bandu Veut, the CEO at Remote. Welcome, Job. Thanks, Kalpana. Job, before we dive into the world of remote work, could you please share a little bit about yourself and your journey to becoming the CEO of Remote? Yeah, of course. So I'm um, I'm Job. I'm Dutch. I live in the Netherlands. And I started uh, remote five years ago. And I started remote after my prior company, GitLab, which is a fully distributed company. We had people all over the world. And what we would do is we would find somebody great, independent of where they lived in the planet, and then we'd hire them. And it worked really, really well. But we ran into one problem, which is how do we make sure that we can pay that person? How can we provide benefits? How can we stay compliant? And what we found was that it, this was very, very difficult. And so that led me and, and my co-founder, Marcelo, to found Remote to solve exactly that problem. Now, that's fascinating, though. Well, a remote work has certainly gained immense traction over the past year. Could you share your thoughts uh, on the future of remote work and uh, how it can shape the workforce of tomorrow? Yeah, I think what I, I think a few things um, have always been true. And one, the most important one is that employers always want to hire great people. And the reality is that there's more great people far away from your office than close to any office that you have. And so this is a, a fundamental force that will, you know, drive individuals and employers to hire people remotely, at least not, not in the direct vicinity of an office. And so I think this is something that will never change. I think what has changed over the past years is both the capability and just the awareness of the capability of being able to do work from a distance, right? You, if your work is knowledge work, if you do most of your work on the computer, you can essentially do this from anywhere. And it is not even, you know, more difficult. In, in many cases, it's more efficient uh, and it gives people significantly more freedom, but also more space to, for example, do the work at their own pace in, in an environment that's comfortable for them. And so those two things combined make it that I believe that we will only see an ex further acceleration of remote work. And it's not to say that everybody wants to work from home, like like I am. Um, I think you can do remote work from an office, from any location. I think it's just important to realize that you don't necessarily have to be sitting in the same room as your boss, as your manager, as, as your team, uh, but rather in a in a group uh, in an environment that works for you. I think. Lastly, I think, you know, technology will continue to push uh, our ability to work remotely effectively. And I think today we're still somewhat limited in the way that we can communicate. You and I are looking at a flat screen. I think eventually we'll see a change in that as well. Although it's, you know, high-speed internet everywhere, it, it has become very easy to, to work remotely. Yeah, sure. So this will lead to a more inclusive and flexible work environment, benefiting both employees and employers. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the HR services industry has experienced uh, significant shifts due to the digital transformation and the changing nature of work. How do you see the evolution of HR services and uh, what role do global HR platforms like remote play in shaping this transformation? So I think we go from a place where if you needed any kind of HR solution, uh, one, you would have, it, it's never one, right? You, you need to buy a whole bunch of them for any a uh, place that you are, you need an HRES or an HCM, you need a payroll system. And then depending on what you locally need and want, you might have several other systems to do performance management and whatever else. And I think over the past years, we've seen some more uh, companies building platforms to do all of those in one place. But with you know companies becoming more international and earlier becoming international, what happened is that Many companies have many tools in many different countries. And so this becomes an incredibly complex data problem. We have all this data in different countries. It's very hard to manage your entire team, even if it's not that big, um, because it's it's very spread out. And so what we do and, and the future that we believe in is that we can actually do all of those things in a single place. I think the future is, is that you can manage your workforce, payroll, and anything else that comes with anything else related to HR in a single place. And that's exactly what we built at Remote. So what we built is what we call a global HR platform. So you can use this in HRIS or an HCM. You can run payroll there. You can provide benefits and even do things like performance management, not just for 
one team in one country, but for everybody, uh, regardless in how many countries people are. Well, that's quite fascinating. The, so the way that we build remote is we took this traditionally pure services uh, industry, right? And uh, and we took these services in, that are offered in every country by various providers. And, and the first thing we did is we, we tried to offer them ourselves. We we went, we looked under hoods. What are the services that are offered? And what is required to do all this work? It tends to be very bureaucratic. And then the next thing we did is we tried to streamline them and automate them. So take away all the bureaucracy and take away the humans out of the process. See how much can we um, abstract away by building software to to automate things. And, and, and that is exactly what we did. And I think one of the things that we found was that there are many commonalities across borders that we can leverage so that it feels like managing a person in India is similar to managing a person in the Netherlands, for example. You you get on a high level, it's mostly the same thing. Um, and so that's ultimately what we've done. We try to automate that and uh, continue to do so. So what technology platform you're using? Uh, I mean... We, it is remote, right? It, it's our own software. Our software is written in in, um, in Elixir and in uh, in React, which to answer your question, right? The reality is is that everything that we have built in our building is proprietary. Okay. So looking ahead, what trends and opportunities do you foresee in the HR services industry? And how does remote plan to continue innovating to meet the evolving needs of the clients? in an ever-changing world, work, land, uh, work landscape? Yeah, I think there are a few. I think the first one is, is that traditionally the experience for an individual, for an employee, has not, has not really been prioritized by HR tools, software, or services, right? It's very much serving the employer first. And I think we're starting to see a change in that, is that as an individual, you should have clarity and insight and also just a good user experience to access the things that you need to access and give you the tools to do your work effectively and not worry, for example, about, you know, where your salary goes, right? You should be able to change your bank account easily, which is not, which is not a given in modern HR platforms. I think that is a really big change. I think the other one is, is that as we continue to automate and simplify and abstract away details, we can move from a model that was traditionally ran by accountants and payroll. Uh, professionals, right? So many companies, they have an, an back office department, their payroll is ran, and it is done by payroll experts. I very much believe in a future in which it's not those, you don't need to be a payroll expert, you can be any person. And there's not a lot of expertise necessary to be able to run payroll. And so I think that is a really big one. And then the last one is, is consolidation, which is exactly what we are doing, is taking all these different tools that are very disjointed and had to be integrated and set up by hand, taking all of these things and bringing them in a single place that doesn't just bring you, you know, significant um, savings because you only have to pay for one thing. It also reduces complexity for everybody involved. So you don't have to think about where does a certain piece of data live or how do I do a particular thing? Rather, the information that you need at any given point in time is always at hand because it's in, in one place. Yes, absolutely. So now as we conclude our five-five chat, what advice would you give to organizations and individuals who are transitioning to remote work? Um that, that's a big question. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I I there's a million and one things that I would say. But I think the most important thing is is to realize that if you are working remotely in any form, whether that means hybrid, whether that means part of the team is remote or part of the time you are remote. You have to accept that this is a new reality and that the way you used to work in an office will not translate well, right? You have to accommodate for them. And the best way to go about accommodating for a new reality like that is to be very open to changes and treat your company in the processes and the culture that you built as a product, a product that you must evaluate, figure out does it work or not, and how can we improve it? And then over time, make improvements to the way that you work. And so getting to the office at the same time, having meetings in the meeting room, those things don't translate well. You will want to avoid meetings because nobody likes to sit in long Zoom meetings. Um, so I think that's that's the most important one. Be open and continue to work on how you do work. Yeah, no, sure. So it's like remote work requires a shift in mindset, but with the right approach. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Thank you, Joff, for sharing your insights and expertise on remote work. It was a pleasure having you on our your talk show today. 
Thanks for having me. So, and that concludes our CEO talk show with job CEO at Remote. Thank you to our viewers for tuning in. Follow us on social media for regular updates. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.